Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you multiple solutions to fix your internet problems on a PC. There are quite a few reasons why you might be having trouble with your connection. Hopefully you have a working internet connection once more after watching this video. I'll start with the built-in Windows troubleshooters. This method is easy to use and it's a good place to start. Click on the Windows search icon or search bar and type in troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot settings. Continue by clicking on other troubleshooters. Here we have a few troubleshooters that might be relevant to solve internet or connection problems. First click on the run button next to internet connections. Select troubleshoot my connection to the internet. For me the suggestion is to connect an ethernet cable. I want to fix my Wi-Fi so I'll ignore this option. The troubleshooter found a problem with my Wi-Fi adapter. I'll select try these repairs as an administrator. In this case, the troubleshooter is successful, but it might be that you have a different result or suggestion. If this doesn't work, we'll continue with the next troubleshooter. Click on the run button next to network adapter. You want to select the option to diagnose all network adapters. Click on next to continue. The same applies as with the first troubleshooter. Continue in the wizard and hopefully Windows offers a solution to the internet problem. There is one more troubleshooter that might be relevant, the incoming connections troubleshooter. I'll skip it to save you some time, but the principle is the same as with the previous troubleshooters. If it doesn't find a solution, continue to the next method. Click on the Windows search icon and type in settings. Click on it. Continue to network and internet settings on the left side of the screen, followed by clicking on advanced network settings. Next, click on more network adapter options. This opens all of the available network adapters on your PC. In my case, you can see that the Ethernet adapter has a small red cross on it. This is because there is no Ethernet cable connected at the moment. My Wi-Fi adapter should have a connection to the Internet. What we want to do now is disable and enable the adapter. You can do this for both your Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter. Right click on it and select disable. Wait a short bit until the adapter turns grey. Right click on it once more and select enable. Doing so, you restart your Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter. Wait half a minute and then you can try if you have a working internet connection once more. If not, continue to the next method. We stay in the network connections menu for now. Right click on your Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter and select properties. In the properties window, double click on internet protocol version 4. Here you want to make sure that the box next to obtain an IP address automatically is checked. As a way of test, we can check the box next to use the following DNS server addresses. Enter 8.8.8.8 .8 as the preferred DNS server. The DNS server translates IP addresses to readable names. The address 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 is a Google DNS. Click on OK. Uncheck the box next to Internet Protocol version 4. Click on OK. Wait at least 10 seconds and then right click on the adapter once more and select properties. Check the box next to Internet Protocol version 4 and click on OK. You can now check if your internet problem is a thing from the past. If your internet isn't working, now would be a good time to restart the PC before you continue. The fourth method is a short mention. It is possible that the virus is causing the issue, or even stranger, your virus scanner might be what is messing with your internet connection. First I advise doing a full scan of your PC. If that doesn't solve the issue, you can try disabling or uninstalling your virus scanner. You need to reboot your PC before you try to validate your connection. Next we are going to clear the DNS cache on your PC. Click on the Windows search icon and type in CMD. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. In command prompt, enter the following command. ipconfig space forward slash flush dns. This command clears all items in your DNS cache, which might have gotten corrupt. As mentioned earlier, DNS translates IP addresses to readable names. While we are in command prompt, we might as well release and renew our IP address. To do this, enter ipconfig space forward slash release. After that, we can enter the next command, ipconfig space forward slash renew. After a few seconds, you should get a new IP address. Wait a few seconds more, 
and try if you have a working internet connection once more. In the next method, we need to go back to the Advanced Network Settings menu. To do this, click on the Windows search icon and type in Settings. Click on Network and Internet. And after that, click on Advanced Network Settings. Here we have the option to perform a network reset. A network reset removes and reinstalls your network adapters. It also sets all of the networking components back to their original settings. When you do this, you might need to re-enter your Wi-Fi password. If you are sure that you want to do this, click on the Reset Now button. You get a final warning from Windows. Click on Yes to continue. The network reset itself is quite fast to complete. When it is done, you need to reboot your PC. Hopefully you have a working internet connection once more. Before we end this tutorial, there might be a few more short mentions that are worth checking. The first one is to unplug your modem and router for at least 10 seconds. Plug it back in and test your connection. Contact your internet service provider. This option is worth investigating if you are having problems with multiple devices. Download the latest network adapter drivers on a different machine and transfer them by USB. You can install the new drivers in Device Manager. If you are out of options, you might want to consider performing a factory reset on your PC. On the channel, you can find videos on how to do this for Windows 10 or Windows 11. This concludes our general tutorial on how to fix internet problems. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.